Spring break! Woo! Okay, so it's not actually spring break, but I do have a week off of my chemotherapy, and that's what my brother said, it's like spring break, so that's what I'm calling it. And I'm gonna take you with me through everything I did in a week while technically off chemo. But yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so every single morning and every single night were pretty much the exact same. I started my morning with breakfast, pills, and hygiene, which is pretty much just shower and brush my teeth. And then every night was dinner, pills, and hygiene. So it's not too exciting when it comes to that end. Every morning was the same, every night ended the same. So I was really excited that I got to stop by the office for a bit and attend one of our meetings. And it was a really good one too, because I got to meet the new commissioner and check that out. You can even see my desk in this video. Pretty fun. That's where I sit. That is where, that is where the magic happens. So throughout this week uh -huh. from Monday to Friday, including the weekends, I took a lot of time to work on my real estate business. And really that just means finish out the clients and contracts that I had so I don't have to worry about them later and throughout this process because there's not going to be a lot of time for me to help them. So I had to wrap up everything that was pretty much already going on and shut down the systems of getting new stuff coming in. As sad as it is, that's what I had to do. But don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be working real estate throughout this process as much as I possibly can. Um, I have set up my business perfectly for referrals, so as much as I want to open the doors and personally write the contracts to help everybody out, I just don't think I'm going to have the time to dedicate towards everybody. Um, so I've set up my business for referrals, which means I can still help you personally buy, sell, and invest in real estate because of the network of individuals that I have behind me right now. I will just get you connected to the person who is best suited for your real estate goals. Like let's say you want to sell. Come to me first and then I will get you to connected to the best agent to help you sell your property that's specific for your goals, right? And vice versa with buy. You know, if you have specific buy goals, let me know. I'll get you connected to an agent who can help you find that dream property of yours. I got you, homie. I'm the connection point that, you know, serves for everybody. That's, that's kind of how I'm going to stay in touch with real estate. And I, I love educating myself. So I find understanding and knowing the market. Super fascinating, so I, I don't think that one's ever going to go away. So I did have one appointment this week, and I know I said it was spring break, you know, you're not supposed to be doing the appointment stuff on vacation. So that was a f***ing lie. But it was just labs, so that's all it is, is a poke and give blood, and then it was a checkup with the doctor to make sure I'm okay after receiving a week of chemo, and everything was good. I'm not feeling the best and my back hurts so now Lexi is driving so if you don't see any more videos after this, our fault. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna lie, this hair right now is driving me nuts. I feel so homeless, I've never had my hair so long. It's like starting to poke me in the eyeballs <laughs> and I've wanted a haircut so bad. That'll be five dollars. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Oh uh, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. That son of a bitch. But I'm like, you know what, just keep going. Never had it long, let's see what happens type of thing. So, but it's, it's starting to poke my eyeballs, which is crazy. So I would say pretty much every single day this week, I did go to the coffee shop. I tried to get lemon there with me as much as possible. I really enjoyed it. It's where I get a lot of work done. I love the energy of coffee shops and you know being around other people working really hard and just the, the interactive portion of a coffee shop. It helps me work and I really enjoy it. Um, one of the main reasons, I don't always go to coffee shops maybe once a week, but I specifically was like, I am going to go every day this week because I know I will not get that opportunity here soon when I'm living in the hospital. And when I'm outside of the hospital, I still can't go. What? Because I'm so immunocompromised that I won't be able to. So I tried to make it a point to enjoy every single day I could, even though I had to work, which for me, I love what I do, so it's easy. But I wanted to do my work in an environment where I couldn't be in later. I don't know, it's just kind of something that I, would, I really enjoyed. So I spent a lot of time in a coffee shop and one of them was really cool, but Lexi ordered matcha. It's like her new thing. It's like ground up tea leaves. It's the biggest oh, piece of dog it. shit. It's gross. And I'm not a picky eater at all, but that is, I mean, look at it. It's like green goop. It's not, it's not good. So Lemon and I took one of the nights to catch up with some really close friends of ours. 
It's actually Lexi's hairstylist. I don't know if that's the right word or not. Um, women, sue me in the comments. But um, we're really good friends with them, great family friends. It kind of sucked because this is when I told them I got cancer. It didn't, it didn't taint the night, but to me, I'm like, damn, I feel like I ruined it. Either way, it was still a really enjoyable time and got to catch up with them. And Lexi got her hair all pretty. Boring. So on one of the days, Lexi's mom came down from Colorado. We all got lunch and then we went to the zoo and then we got dinner afterwards. It was honestly just one of the better days. I really, really enjoyed it. Spending so much time with Lexi and Lexi's family. It was just good for me to see them because I haven't seen them in a while. And then I won't get to see them for an extended period of time as well, which I wish I would have gotten more pictures and videos of, but it's one of those times where you're so immersed in the moment and you're having such a good time. You don't stop to think, Oh, I need to take a picture or take a pan of video, you know? So it was just a great time. And then we even went to one of our favorite burger spots out here. It's a little burger bar, really fantastic. So that was just one of the better nights, one of the highlight nights right there. And of course, you could have guessed it. I spent a lot of time with my dogs. Yes, we were on long walks every day. I tried to get them to the park as much as I could. Um, I just spent a lot of time with them. I tried not to spend it with them like laying down or on the couch. I was trying to be more active, whether it was walking the park, going to my dad's pool, going to my mom's backyard, like just spending time with my dogs as much as possible because I know I won't be able to see them for a while. You know, same thing as with all my friends and family. Like I'm very connected to my pets as they're one of my biggest stress relieves and I won't be able to see them. So play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. So I spent a lot of time with them and I loved every second of it. Honestly, it was just a really great break, much needed, and it's not like I took a vacation. I have to get a chemo one week on, one week off, one week on, one week off. That's typically how the bullshit goes, you feel me? It was a great week off, honestly really well spent, and for the most part I did not get fatigued overly too much, I didn't get too much nausea. Obviously, it was there, don't get me wrong, but it was a really good break. But now, it's time to hop back into it. Another week of chemo and, you know, much more to come. And don't forget to like and subscribe as it really is the best way of supporting me throughout my cancer journey. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode.